Okay, this last recording is just about how depreciation affects the um, income statement on the balance sheet. You've got to remember to do a schedule of admin expenses. And let me just show you. Um, you take admin expenses from the trial balance. So remember we updated it. 43749. Show it, but don't forget to show the depreciation you calculated as well. They are admin expenses. So what I mean by that is these figures you calculate down here. So let's make them highlight them. The four thousand and the eight four three eight. They go into there. If you total that up, five six one eight seven, you put that in to your income statement. There, five six one eight seven. Same with distribution costs. What does it say on the trial balance? I think we updated it for the wages, didn't we? 13898, that's the figure that goes in your schedule. You might think, oh, why are we doing it? But in the exam, there's more than one, so you need to make sure you've got a subtotal. Get that figure, and it goes in there. Okay, everything else you should work your way down, and your final answer for retained earnings is 180626. Okay, let's do the balance sheet. Okay. So actually, let me take that out because I don't want you to see that yet. <laughs> okay, so you put the cost in as normal. And then remember I got you to update the provision for depreciation here. And I told you that they both go in the balance sheet. So we added four grand, which is the 4,000 depreciation for the year to machinery. The provision came eight. And for the vehicles, we added 8,438 to give you 19,688. Those two figures go on the balance sheet like so. Okay, that's it. And then don't forget to deduct the provision from the cost. You should see the value is going down. That's it. Don't forget this figure here for prepayments. Where do I get it from? Well, if you go to the trial balance and it says here in the adjustments that rent paid in advance 553, that is the prepayment. All you have to do is put the figure in 553 there. Add that up, go down, same as normal. Let's look at the figures. Trade payable should it be self explanatory? Accrual, so where did Marshall get 398 from? Again, go to the adjustments. Can you see it says distribution wages own 398? That's the accrual. Put it in. Tax payable 12657. My last recording said you don't pay tax until nine months and one day after the balance sheet date. That's what they owe, 12657. The same figure you put in the income statement. Put it in. Now, this is the one you need to be careful of. If you look at the adjustments, it says finance costs for the last six months of the year are outstanding. Now, remember I said calculate whatever 12 months is. But when it comes to doing the balance sheet, you've got to bear in mind that only six months of the total is outstanding. So what we want to do in the balance sheet, we want six months or half a year's interest which is 800 so if I write here half of 1600 be careful add that up you should get 29588 add your total liabilities so the loan plus the current and finally let's see if you add your equity to your liabilities you should get 2848555 should agree to your total assets Two four eight five 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 finito. Okay, so be careful with the interest. Take that straight from the adjustments. Take that from the adjustments. Take that from the adjustments. And these two really important. Take don't forget to add uh, update the provisions with the current year's depreciation that you've calculated, and put them in there. Okay, try and do that extra question called fly and then there's one more called mason and next week we're going to look at some law okay done